Hi, my name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Black Hole Myths. There's a lot of myths about black holes, but I'm going to concentrate on just a few. Um, so first let's talk about a black hole. Here we have a singularity. And then we have the event horizon. And then we have the X-ray jet. And let's just say that this is a nearby star. So one of the myths about black holes is that it's very big and is massless. Both of these things are untrue. So the first thing is that black holes are actually, they have zero volume, so they are a point and they're very massive. So how do we get a black hole? We had a really, really massive star it has to be about 50 times the size of our sun in order to get a black hole. So you have all the mass of the star going to one point. So it's actually still the same mass, but the volume has gone to zero. So it's not very big. In fact, it's point-like. And then the other thing is that it is not massless. It's the mass of the star that imploded. And you might ask yourself, how does this happen? How can you get something point-like that has almost infinite density? And it happens that under such a strong gravitational pull that even light can escape from it, it sucks its own light, you actually deformed the fabric of the cosmos. So the cosmos is made out of, you can think of a fabric that contains the dimensions that we know of, and we call that the space-time fabric. So you bend space as we know it. And this is kind of what happens when you have the black hole. It just turns it into a hole in actual space. So this is how we can get something to become a volume that doesn't ex practically zero with an infinite density. I know it's a difficult thing to picture. Then the second thing I wanna talk about is how the gravity from a black hole is not infinite. If the black hole had an infinite gravitational pull, then the entire universe would have actually gotten sucked in. So we know that at some point away from the black hole, we no longer feel it, right? So if we had a singularity, we have our point-like that is very massive, um, everything that passes the event horizon, so there is a distance here, and this radius, this line called the event horizon, anything that passes the event horizon does go into the black hole. Anything outside of the event horizon can still escape the black hole. So it is untrue that the black hole has infinite gravitational pull. Now the other thing is like a lot of black holes are formed in binary systems and binary system is when you have two stars together. One becomes a black hole and then you have the other star that is the neighbor star. So a lot of the mass from the star starts going so it's being pulled into the black hole as it feels the gravitational pull. Now, the other myth is that black holes suck. They don't suck anything. Um, as things fall in, things tend to just circle around the singularity forever. The only way that something gets really sucked into the black hole is if they lose their momentum. And what happens when they lose their momentum, and it does happen, is that it will fall into the black hole but then it becomes superheated because of the gravitational field and the black hole will eject these really massive uh, X-ray jets. And so there is no black hole that is swallowing something that is not ejecting. So one of the things, it doesn't really suck. Most things orbit it and then whatever it falls in gets ejected as an X-ray jet. And my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist and these are black hole myths.